Well, hello, and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy, my friends, my faithful loggies, and guests who perhaps haven't been on the backlog before. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the channel, my name is Jason Wright. I am a professional voice talent, and I love all of the accents that are put into Hogwarts and its ilk. I've listened to the audiobooks, and my favorite is the Stephen Fry version of the audiobooks. If you haven't listened to that, check it out. He does a wonderful job on all of the voices. So I'm expecting there's going to be some really good accents, some great voice casting in this game, and I will be disappointed if there's not, and I will certainly point it out. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the format we have here, we will be delivering a new episode of this every day uh, for at least a week. Uh, and then it'll probably switch to three times a week as we bring in other games. I'm really excited about this one. It has good potential, and I hope it lives up to that. So without further ado, let's dive right in to Hogwarts Legacy. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well... I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? 
She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Now he can see Thestral. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Language. Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? A little on the nose, don't you think? to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why? <laughs> welcome everyone to the game! <laughs> and welcome to Neil Logbottom. Again, a little on the nose, but I'm okay with that. Let's go! We've got a tutorial to walk through. Can I? No, I can't sprint yet. Oh yes. Set piece, everyone. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere <laughs> in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yes, yes, maybe this maybe this is our path right here. But also, I just want to I want to look down Mind here. Your step. Cuz yeah, that looks that looks like a hmm definitely a path down that way. All right, let's go. Welcome Where to Hogwarts you Legacy, everyone. I've got the port key that brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that, that seems to have been lost to time. All Hogwarts right, Castle let's go. Was built by and Come on. is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. 
It's love, I isn't it? I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Professor Fig. Ah, there's the path down below. Yep. This way. Uh, yep, up this way. It's it's love. The the secret extra but, sir, magic how is love. Is your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that uh, ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Oh, okay, I can... Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work. Oh, hold on. Practicing. Focus on the center. Okay, just just tap it to go. Okay. Uh, can I put away Excellent. the V? Hold on. Use your camera to select an active target. Hold on, let me see if I can put this away. Okay, yeah. So you just hold V and it gets rid of, uh, it gets rid of your uh, your little that quest log there. Rougher than I'd expected. Hold on, I've got to kill pots. I've got to kill your pots. Oh, Thank you, sir. Do I get experience points? Ha <laughs> 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 What what is this I'm I'm casting here? I'm not using my uh I'm not saying anything, so <sighs> Pew, watch out, sir. I'm gonna shoot stuff. Uh, up there. Yeah, yeah. But, but, I gotta destroy things. Okay. Let's go. <gasps> oh, pots. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Excuse me, sorry, sorry, sir. Uh, I'm good at getting extra credit. Yes. <gasps> I found some money, sir. I'm going to keep it all. Mm, and I'm also going to have to adjust some settings as time goes by. Um, We're close now. It's just ahead. Yep. Very good. The game has the option to get rid of a mini-map and, like, all of the HUD settings. So you're just walking around without any Steady gamification. And so I might actually switch those all off. As we progress through the game here and just bumble around not knowing where it's going on. <laughs> and if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments if if that's the type of gameplay you're looking for. Almost there. Almost? Wait, hold on, sir. Sir, you've got to check all of the corners and stuff. Otherwise, we may have missed this. What? What? <laughs> Is that a platypus? It's not a Harry the platypus. No, that's a that's a niffler. Can I can I like pick it up? No. It's just it's just there. It's just there for people who've been playing games and know to check the sides before going into the arena. Yeah. All right. Let's destroy things. Sir, I'll take care of the pots. You take care of the trolls or anything else. Oh, that one almost got away. Did you see it trying to escape, sir? Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That and possibly their privacy. For a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Oh, you mean the huge statue holding a ball? Maybe we could go for the big statue. Wait, there's a cup. The minimap shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press V to... Yes, okay. Okay, yeah, so minimap is fantastic. Professor, Very this helpful. Statue. This may have been his home. Can we take his ball? Okay, so if I don't have a target, it'll just go... It'll just go straight. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Sir! Sir, I'm going... Way out yonder. I'm, I'm just going to kill all of the pots. Just going to do that. 
that enchanted crystallized stone again. Oh, yeah, but yeah, it could be. What could be blocking? Maybe the glowing force. Professor Fig. Oh, hello. It's a mirror. A very stylish fellow there. Um. Oh, hi, Professor. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Yes. Interact with the magic. What in Merlin's name? Osna Zabram. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Well, I mean, maybe you should because it's here. Can I zap? Th I can still zap things. I don't. I don't think those are the right kind of pot. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Hmm, okay, now the voice actor they have for this guy. Stay close. I like, I like what he's doing. When he's talking to, to the directly, he, he enunciates himself, but otherwise he's, he's got this very full, you. full mouth kind of sound to him. Hmm. Oh, very nice. I'm excited. I'm excited to uh, to explore, not just... Keep your hands inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> not just Hogwarts itself, but all of its many wondrous accents. For those of you who don't know, I'm also a, uh, a voice talent. How many vaults are there in Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact... You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The Whee! vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. Oh my. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Okay. Oh, good, good. We faded to black. Very nice. And there's, of course, somebody waiting for us. It's his job to, to wait here. <laughs> Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some good voice work going on today. On your way. Very nice wide mouth sound. Oh, is he coming along with us? No, he's... Professor, hmm? the old band that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw Ooh. on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. 
He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Okay. Let's go exploring. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that if when I find a last time this random chest accessed? around here, I shouldn't open it. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. <gasps> There's a chest. Uh, uh, excuse me. I'm just... No. Mm. Didn't need to twist it or anything. Just put it in there. Very nice. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. I'll be right there, Professor. There's a chest, you see. Yep. Oh, excuse me. Don't mind me. Gonna borrow what's in here. <laughs> Hi. It's okay. I belong here. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Oh, okay. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Ooh. Let me think. But there's a glowy door there over there. There must be something here. Revelio. <laughs> Revelio, perhaps. Revelio. Okay. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, okay. No, okay. So I have to press it then. So we go, go press, press, and then up and around, and then press. And here, okay. Oh, interesting. An interesting whole little system. R to cast Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay. Well, why don't we just get right up close to it? Yeah. Uh, oh. oh. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I'm gonna touch it. I don't suppose you see a way to. I'm gonna I touch do, it, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the Hold on. I gotta look around. If just to make sure. If the reveals Good. the way forward. Then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Yep, yep, Lead touch it. The way. Touch it. I'm gonna touch it. <gasps> oh, what have we found? Lumos. Darkness. Oh, can I learn that one, Professor? This is no ordinary vault. That will be handy. I suspect we will need to Revelio. earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. Oh, there will yes, be sir. no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. That makes sense. It makes it. Wait, wait. What was that? I saw a flash of light. Just gonna keep casting this and following it. Yeah, sir. Can I, 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 can I learn? Ahead. Can I learn Lumos? That'd be great. That glow again. Touch uh, it on the floor. Oh! What happened? Oh no! When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Oh yes, very good. You seem to have caused the floor to change. Yes, just that a bit. Statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Yes. It is. Oh, but he's the he's totally backwards. Still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. Oh, it's when twisting. You moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. You should come over here, sir. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. I should. I should. Teach me how. Ah, oh, gotcha. Go. Go. Oh, no. Interesting. It's an interesting system. 
You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted into your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark air. Yes, of course. Okay, cool. So I can just, it's quick bar. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh no! I'm going to need an attack spell, sir. And possibly some defense spells. Send me up, sir. Look out! Oh, Protego! Yeah, I want to learn those, sir. I'm on a Protego myself. Oh, I'm on a Protego! Oh, I get to parry. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't Protego properly. Here, I will Protego. Aha! I will basic cast. Okay, I need a dash. Whee! <laughs> need to learn a dash ability. Okay. I'm gonna Lumos, just in case. And Protego. Can I... Okay, cool. Uh, so I just kind of have access to some spells just all the time. Professor. Professor Fig. Professor, what? where are you? This isn't good. It where is not I great. To go? I'm supposed to go this way, apparently. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Probably the way I'm supposed to go, but also... Maybe... Revelio. There's something else Lumos. hiding. Oh, oh, ha, 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 ha. Yes. Never be so quick. Revelio. Lumos. All right, I'm going to search around real quick. Search around. Revelio. Lumos. Oh, there's another one. Revelio. Right, I think that's all of it. I think there's just that's two. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Perfect. Oh yes, this this one again. Very good. Let's do this. I'm on my own this time. Um, Lumos. Oh, I need to be in a specific point where all three of them match. Right here. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, you know it. Let's go. Oh, got a Protego. Protego. Oh, oh, he's got a, he's got some speed on him. Stupid. Oh, so if I, who do? Stupid. Ha ha. All right, so if I parry him, I get a little bit of a stupefy there. Hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Gotcha. Oh, no, didn't see you coming. Gotta get them all. Oh, yeah. And... Gotcha. Oh, you. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of showing me that somebody's about to attack with that sensible thing there. Nope, I need a dash. I gotta get a dash going. Come on, finish him. Oh no, there's another guy. Where'd you come from? Okay, all right. I'm figuring it out. Maybe. All right, we're here again. Lumos. We gotta go this way? Gotcha. Revelio, Lumos. 
Revelio, Lumos. Not seeing any other goodies. One more Revelio. Lumos. Okay, nothing else. Let's go. What do you want from me? You want me to go through the veil? Fine. Fine, I'll go through. An El Jog! Revelio. Oh, there's one. Aha! Uh -huh. That is a good spell. <laughs> Cause I'm not very wealthy. I'm a college student, you understand. I need all of the nuts I can. Galleons would be nice, but I honestly don't know whether I'm getting galleons or knuts or even just sickles. floating above that basin. And I just grabbed it without thinking. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. <laughs> nice. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. 
I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a problem. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> <laughs> it sensed the wrong type of magic. Quickly, Professor Fig, we must escape. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, yes, very good. <laughs> a little bit of fan surface here for you all. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy, here on the Backlog. sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? As ready as I can be, sir. He's here. Mm, and they don't know what I named my character, so they can't just announce it's my term. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? But there was a dragon. It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. <laughs> if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Dumbledore, this is not 
<laughs> Phineas Nigellus Black. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Okay, here we go. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Yes, yes, let's go. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, or ambition. Ah, yes, well, huh, hitting it. A sense of loyalty? Somewhat on the nose. I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Yes! Hufflepuff! Perfect! Let's go with it. Better be Hufflepuff! <laughs> Very nice. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Yes, that's unfortunate. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but... Don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, I got to I said I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Got to figure out how to get to my common room. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I oh, shall yes. see to it, sir. That would be nice, thank you. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. <laughs> it's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. <laughs> it hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Oh no. <laughs> well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well.
Looks like everyone's gone. <laughs> Let's head to the common room. They already know where they're supposed to be getting to. All right. Well, this has been a good entrance into the game. Let's have a quick apple. <laughs> so we can have a little bit of an apple. All right. This has been a good episode. And we will have another one tomorrow. Here on the backlog, I hope you come back and join us. We'll see you then.